This is a quick guide through the foundation for the study of cycles, um, Cycles Analyzer toolset. When you first have logged in to the Cycles Analyzer, you can do this either via the foundation website, log in with your member account and follow the Cycle Analyzer button in the member section. You will directly be forwarded to the application or you can log in with your foundation account at this domain. You will receive your login data via email with um, your uh, credentials. So after the first login, you will see this dashboard screen and you will see it's mainly empty. This is based because it's your first login. So I would recommend to have some data populated into your dashboard. We have prepared a template which will give you some first impressions here. So I would recommend if you don't know what to do, load our Market Pulse template and just click this button here. This will kick um, your account off and pre-fill it with some data. So you now here see the market pull section is now pre-populated with some data sets here. So um, one important thing is the market pull section. The market pull section allows you to use um, integrated data feeds. So we host most of the available index and the stock market data um, up to the current day on a daily basis and apply cycle analysis on more or less all data set available here. So this is just an example set which we provide here to get you started. So you can see it's structured in different areas. So we see the crypto, the Forex, major indices, and sentiment data here. And you see it's quickly populated with the um, current information here. So what you see is the main dominant cycles which in each area here. So with the length information, the latest date of the latest closing price, the current phase of the cycle, the next expected major turning point, not of the market, of the cycle, of the major cycle, the bars to go from the cycle perspective, and you have some follow-up action so you can drill down in detailed analysis here. So this market dashboard is also shown in a different view if you click on the market pulse um, navigation link here. So this navigation link shows you the same information but now visually prepared with the active dominant cycle here. So you have the same navigation here through the markets, commodity, crypto markets, forex, index and sentiment. And what you see here is not only the table version, you also see um, the um, stock market or the index behavior here. And down below what is plotted here is the current active dominant cycle here, the, the, the red overlay plot here down below. So you see here the naming, the current phase, the cycle is in, um, yeah, the, the bars to go until the next cycle turn kicks in and the active dominant cycle length here with a length of 32 bars. This is not a picture, this is an interactive chart where you can zoom in, scroll and check where the current cycle is in, in terms of um, yeah, price and um, phase and cycle. Um, and you have this visually prepared for all um, indices which are shown here. So with one visual look at this data here, you see what are the current major cycles within the indices. So you see a 32, 32, 39. So they are all following a similar dominant cycle here. Um, and you see a forecast of this cycle here into the future. You can do this for yeah the different data sets provided here. So which allows you to quickly get an impression about the active cycles in the markets. You see there are different cycles here in the Forex markets. So you see they are automatically detected. These cycles are updated each day after the close. So you will have a live view after the closing. What is the current daily dominant cycle here? So this is the market pulls dashboard, which gives you quick information. Another key feature is the so-called cycle scanner, which allows you to analyze more in depth the cycles within one or two markets here. Um, to show you that you can either navigate to the cycle scanner with the navigation or you can click down below the um, market pulse, you can click on the scan button which will directly bring you to the cycle scanner with this data set here. So I have now pressed the scan button for the um, Dow Jones index here which is the data set ID here labeled. You see the current um, daily data and you see again the dominant cycle already here plotted down below in this chart here which gives you the interactive 
chart view over this cycle here. What is now more important that on the right hand side, you see which cycles are currently active. So we do a full scan of the data set and not only show the dominant cycle, which is active in this data set, we also show you almost all cycles which are active within this market here with their individual information about length, amplitude, the cycle strengths and the battle score. Um, I will show you a white paper where we explain these measures here, but just to, to know so you can check which cycles are active, it's derived from this spectrum plot here. So this is the visual representation of a full scan of the data set, which shows you the cycle spectrum and the peaks within the spectrum reflect to an active cycle here. I will not go into the details how a cycle spectrum looks like, but the peaks here, which are shown in this spectrum chart here, are then listed here on the top in the cycles list. So what can you do now with this information here? More important, you can plot now these cycles as overlay on the chart. So if you activate one of these cycles here, this cycle is then plotted on top of the chart and you can build now individual composite cycles. For example, these three cycles um, yeah, are accountable for this market moves here. So I've now activated these four cycles here and it's automatically um, building these um, yeah, composite plot here, not only in terms to the current data set, also a forecast into the future. So this is the benefit of cycles that if you have cycles, you can plot them into the future, which allows you to give you a kind of window into the future. You can also plot it as indicator here below the chart. So you can follow how nicely these um, key cycles follow major uh, highs and lows in the market. Um, so only four cycles are able to explain the main behavior of the Dow Jones here. So this is important if you do some more research on, on cycles within the data set and want to plot composite cycles here. You can also make a snapshot here, save this analysis and share this analysis with other users to, to ensure that it's yeah, stored. You can switch the detailed period where you do the analysis, but, it's, but this is more for future um, detailed briefing here. So the cycle scanner is important where you do your analysis. And finally, what you can do, you can not only use the pre-built data set, you can upload your own data set. So for example, um, if you start first with your account, you will not have any data set uploaded, but you can now upload and bring your own data to this analysis, which makes it really powerful because you can analyze whatever you like to analyze. Um, for example, let, let me show you how to, how to upload, um, uh, information. So for, for this example here, um, I will use just simple um, data set based on time and value here, um, which provides some uh, weather information. So the temperature here in Hamburg um, on a daily basis. So this is just the temperature um, here at my local location here. So what you do with this kind of data set, you just um, do a drag and drop with this file here, for example, this file here, and drag it just on the cycle scanner. So this will now import the information here and upload the, the, the data. And once uploaded, you will see the information that how much data points are in there, um, what's the daily information, so what's the last data point here, and just give it a name, whether save it, and you will get a confirmation that this weather is now saved. What you can now do, you can pull up this data set into the cycle scanner. So if you go now back to the cycle scanner, you will have this pick data set button here and there the uploaded information is shown. So if you now click it, um, it will bring up your individual data set. It will upload now or it will load now all cycle information here to the scanner, um, what you see here and now this data set, what, what, what I just showed you in an Excel simple raw table format is now brought up here through the chart. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite obvious. So this is the temperature here at the, the location. And what, what you see here that, um, the scanner is really, uh, able to pull out the dominant cycle here. I mean, this is quite obvious to see by, by visual checking the data set here. Um, but you see that we have a yearly cycle, which are cycling about 357 days, um, which is, is here aligned to the um, cycle information here. So you see it's quietly 
easy to detect this cycle here, which is a yearly cycle here. And I mean, it shows you that the temperature low is mid-January and the temperature high here is mid-July, which is the winter and summer period here. So it, it forecasts when the next high will come. I mean, this is obvious, but it shows you how simple um, this analy anal analysis is here. And you can bring in whatever data set you like. You will see the cycle spectrum here, which a clear peak of this uh, cycle at this information here. So it's quite obvious that there's one dominant cycle here in this data set. Um, which is then plotted here on top of the chart. So this is the quick information here. You can also adjust the market pulls to your own configuration. So if you would like to see other uh, information and index here, feel free to go into the settings area and change your configuration. Thanks for listening.